Zila, <laughs> how did you die? Oh my god. Hey guys, ready to talk about lock things? Did you know that the reason y'all locks can't name your pets is because, or why you can't and hunters can, is because hunters love and care for their pets, so we're allowed to name them. Whereas uh, you locks only use them as tools, and you're not allowed to name them because you don't love them like we do. That being said, you are possibly going to be having some pet changes for the locks. Um, you might be able to choose your skins for your demons, which would be really cool. So although you still won't be able to ever name them, you can um, at least change a little bit of their appearance to make them, you know, match your dress and stuff like, be cool like me. I had a little interview with Xylus and Zarkoon, so some of the stuff that just kind of like stood out in their heads with uh, the changes coming up. One of the biggest ones is locks are gonna get like a thunderfuck kind of ability. It was very cool. I can't wait to see like thunderfuck videos a la Xylus. Ooh, Panda and Xylus thunderfucking together. Oh, that sounds gay. <laughs> Here's my list. Stuff. You guys are gonna get a cooldown. Looks like you're gonna be having new rotations and new spells. And again, that's like with a lot of classes, there's gonna be some of those kinds of changes. Um, for soul shards, there's gonna be a new system, and you're gonna get something called soul burn. Um, all the details and stuff, check out the sidebar. I'll have the link to the Blizzard Warlock site so you can read up on all the details. And if I screw something up badly, I'm not a lock, so don't take my word for absolutely everything. But anyways, I'm just Affliction, this is a cool thing that's gonna happen for you guys, that when the boss is below 25% health, all you need to do is do Drain Soul, and I guess it will refresh all of the dots and stuff that you have on the boss. I mean, good or bad, I guess that makes it a little bit more boring. That sounds a little bit like Survivor, like that I've gotta refresh everything all the time, but Marksman, you just hit um, Chimera Shot, and that will refresh my Serpent Sting, and I think it's a little bit more boring. Um, but if there's a boss fight that it's really, really interactive, and you need to move a lot, you run a lot, you need to do a lot of things, keep your eye on all this stuff, that might actually be quite helpful that you only have to hit one button for the last 25% health of the boss. Xylus is gonna die a lot more. <laughs> oh, Blizzard also was talking about y'all might get your own flying mounts. I wish I could have the Warlock horse. I love the Warlock horse. Oh my god, the first time I saw that, like, poof, in Stormwind, I'm like, oh, there's fire on the horse's feet! It was so cool. And uh, so you might have um, your own personal, like, lock-only flying mounts, which I'm just going to be that much more jealous of you. Ooh, but I am going to be making a war worgen warlock for Cataclysm. So I will have my own warlock thingies. Yay. And that's about it for the lock stuff. Now on to Nilesy's things. What did Nilesy have to say? Nilesy was pretty stoked about most all the mage changes. Um, oh yeah, you guys are going to get a wall of fog, and that's going to be like a PvP-based thing. Um, Nalzi seriously was like all positive about everything, it seemed really cool. Um, there's something called Flame Ore, but he's, you know, need a bit more information on the mechanics of that. Like, how fast is it, how much damage is it going to do, yeah, how much mana is going to cost and stuff, so not really sure how stoked he is about that, but it looks kind of cool, but again, need a little bit more information. Mm. Time Warp is something you guys are gonna get, which is so cool. I don't know if you guys have seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, because like if Nalsi gets his own, it's a spell called Time Warp. It's like, let's do the Time Warp again. I like that song. Uh, so it's maybe gonna be a like magey heroism thing. We'll see, or it might just be a buff you're adding to the raid, but a spell called Time Warp, which was pretty freaking cool. Frost Mage is gonna get a bit of a buff as well, but it's just gonna make it even more badass in PvP, so that's what I think about that, because uh, they hit pretty hard. But who knows, maybe my new ca camouflage will uh, let me kick some more Frost Mages butts. We'll see. But that is the little bit of rundown of locks and mages. And uh, for more information, click in the sidebar. And now it is 5 o'clock, and I'm gonna go meet Husband. Let's go see what Husband's doing. See you guys later.